For the first step, you must mass out the isopentyl alcohol in a 500 milliliter round bottom flask. Add 17 milliliters of glacial acetic acid, 1 milliliter of sulfuric acid, and 2 to 3 pieces of boiling stones. To set up your reflux, place your round bottom flask in a heating mantle. Connect your round bottom flask to a condensing column using a cut clamp. The two inlets on the condenser will be hooked up to bring water in and out. The bottom brings water in while the top brings it out. Then, in a separatory funnel, add 50 milliliters of distilled water with the prepared solution given by your instructor. After, put the stopper on, mix and vent multiple times, and wait a few minutes for the solution to settle. Separate the aqueous layer and the organic layer. The aqueous layer can go into the sink and the organic layer stays in the separatory funnel. If you're unsure which layer is which, add distilled water and you'll see the aqueous layer expand. Add 20 milliliters of 5% sodium bicarbonate to the separatory funnel with the organic layer. Place the stopper on, mix and vent multiple times, then wait for it to settle once again. Once you separate the layers, put the organic layer in a beaker. Then add the drying agent, magnesium sulfate. Make sure to mass out one gram of magnesium sulfate.
using gravity filtration, separate them. Before setting up your distillation, weigh your tiny round bottom flask. To set up your distillation, obtain four keck clamps. Connect the bottom of the distillation adapter to the round bottom flask and the right side to the condensing column. To the right of the condensing column, clamp it to the vacuum adapter, leading to the tiny round bottom flask. Before placing the thermometer adapter on top, place the filtered solution into the round bottom flask using a glass funnel. When it's all set up, turn on the water source and set the heat up to 30%. You will need to note two temperatures once the liquid condenses and initially rises, then record the highest temperature. Collect until crude product in the main round bottom flask is gone and into the tiny round bottom flask. Come back to your reflex and take it apart. Turn off the water source and disconnect the parts carefully and accordingly. Then you may turn off the heating mantle. After your distillation, mass out your tiny round bottom flask to find the mass of your isopental acetate. Carefully place the product into an HNMR tube and spin the tube multiple times.
When placing the tube into the machine, turn the knob 180 degrees until the sample tube pops out. Avoid touching any part of the tube that isn't white and use a Kim wipe to remove the sample holder. Place the sample tube aside in a container. Place the HNMR tube that has isopentyl acetate with the white holder using a Kim wipe. Insert the tube into the bottom slot of the machine to adjust the white holder. Then, place your HNMR tube into where the sample tube first was. Turn the knob 90 degrees, wait for about 3 seconds, then turn it 90 degrees again. You may check with a flashlight if your tube is inside correctly and spinning. Finally, analyze your data and avoid beehives.